नारायण नमस्कृत नरंचा नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदरे रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद्भागवत कैंटो टेन चैप्टर नंबर वन वर्स नंबर सेवनटीन श्री सुखदेव गोस्वामी स्पीकिंग आंसरिंग टू क्वेश्चन ऑफ परीक्षित महाराज about the past times of sri krishna about his birth his activities how long he stayed how many wives he had on this question he posed and sukhdev goswami said that hearing katha is very purifying It purifies the speaker the questioner the audience just like tatpad salilam yatha the water coming from the feet of krishna whether the deity or ganga ji so now he speaks he is giving the reason why krishna appeared there are various reasons listed in the prayers of kunti why krishna appeared on earth so this is one of the ones he also mentions it there that earth was burdened and therefore he came to remove the burden of the earth so he says that bhumir dripta nirpav vyaja daitya ni kashata yutaihi akranta bhuri bharena brahmanam sharanam yayau so bhumi or earth was burdened or trampled by daityas who were in the dress of kings nirpa vyaja daitya anika and their army anika means army shatayutai having millions of them ayuta is 10000 multiply that by 100 becomes a million so millions of these uh, armies of this kings who were actually daityas so daitya generally means the sons of diti or those who are coming in that dynasty so they are not like that but by behavior right there is a etymological meaning and then there is a meaning which comes by person's action so now also there may be daityas but they are not coming in the dynasty from diti or they may be devas so akranta bhuri bharena she was heavily burdened so burden is not by something heavy but by the character of people and like we say that somebody is a great soul so great does not mean that soul is some bigger size because the size of the soul does not change but it is by the character behavior qualities that somebody is considered as great so similarly the burden is because of their daitya behavior asuric behavior which means adharmic which means against the cows brahmana yajyas there are certain things which sustain the planet because dharma is that which sustains right dharana dharmitya ho dharm dharyate praja so dharma is that which maintains which sustains and then there are things which are conducive to dharma brahmanas brahmana means by character brahmana not just by birth because samdham tapate tiksha that is their characteristic so brahmanasya dehoyam kshudra kama anishate kritshraya tapse pratyananta sukhaya cha the body of brahmana is not meant for performing some petty activities like making money so now you will have sharma ji shoe shop <laughs> right <laughs> or varma barber shop so sharma is brahman varma is kshatriya 
So now we have all these things going on. So previously they had they were performing their duty. Brahmana's duty was Patan Patan Yajan Yajan, Dan Pratikra, studying Vedas, teaching, performing Yajna. So this was dharmic. So therefore Krishna protects Brahmanas. Then cows, they also maintain not only just by giving milk and bulls which till the land, but also they by their very presence they maintain. And yajna, right? So Sahya Yajna Praja Shrishtva Puro Vach Prajapati Anina Prashvadhami Savoti Ashtu Kamadhika So Deva Bhavita Anina Te Deva Bhaviyantuva Parasparam Bhaviyanta Shreya Param Avapshata Krishna Se Devam Pravartitam Chakram Nanu Vartyati Aghayur Indriya Rama Mogham Partha Sajivati So he has established Yajna from the very beginning so, yajna means dev puja sangati karan and dan. So, worship of the devas, giving charity and association, bringing people together. And yajna is there, people come together for good cause. So, these things maintain and they should not be made into business they should not be exploited so in Shanti Parva of Mahabharata Bhisma speaks about it what maintains the kingdom the state and things what should not be destroyed that was actually the job of a king to make sure that these things are maintained if these things are maintained, then running a kingdom is not a problem. But then nature helps. And when these things are not maintained, then there's a big problem. Right? Like now, all the time, so many problems at all fronts. So this is because when dharma is not there, then you have to do the role of dharma and you cannot do it. So people are not dharmic. How will you control them? So therefore, earth was burdened. So she went into, took the shelter of Brahma, Brahmanam Sharnam Yayav. So she approached Brahma, because Brahma although is a creator, but he is also a sort of in charge. He is part of because Shiva is not so much involved in maintenance. He is more like renounced sadhu. That is how he maintains by doing his bhajan. That is also helpful in maintenance. But Brahma is one who is involved. Although maintenance is for function of Vishnu. But you go to Vishnu when problem goes out of hand. Cannot be taken care of by the lower managers. So earth went to Brahma, therefore. So Sri Vishnath Chakrati says, Tatra Tavad Bhagavad Avatare Prashiddham Karna Mahe Bhumiriti. So first he explains the famous cause of Lord's appearance, Bhagavan's appearance here on earth. Dripta Nirpa Vyajaha Diti Vanshatva Bhaveti Karmanayeva Yedatya. So this Dattyas who are very proud. Dripta means proud. So, they are although not coming in the dynasty from Diti, but by their action they are Dattya. Tesham Anik Shratanam Yutairya and they had their big, big armies. So, to fight because Dattyas are looking for power. So they attack others for that they have army. So therefore earth was burdened by that akranta, bhuri bharana, heavy load. 
ब्रह्मणम सुमेरु मूर्धम स्थितम एव सो सी वेंट टू ब्रह्मा एंड ब्रह्मा हैज वन ऑफिस एट द टॉप ऑफ सुमेरु माउंटेन हिज हाउस हिज रेजिडेंस इज इन सत्यलोका बट ही हैज हिज ऑफिस एंड सुमेरु माउंटेन वेयर इज सुमेरु माउंटेन आई डोंट नो बट इट्स ऑलवेज मैंशनड Maybe that Sumerian civilization was there. Some, where was it? Somewhere in Iran. Hmm. So maybe Sumeru was there somewhere. Okay, some civilization was there. So it is supposed to be some eighty thousand miles high mountain. and on top is the office of brahma where he sits so rooftop cool air and no pollution right at that height there is no pollution mosquitoes flies cannot reach there so she went there to him so therefore vishnal chakravarti says It's a nice point he's making. He says, "Na tu satya loka stham." He did. She did not go to satya loka. This is the original place of Brahma, and he gives a very nice uh, reason for that. Why is it? So he says that Krishna avatarad ati purva meva kakadmi na revatya ha kanya ya sampradana prashnartham tatr gatvata. तेन सहित क्षणा ब्रह्म तम प्रत्याह संप्रति अवतीर्णा बलदेवाय कन्या दीयता तन्मे शिरोदतीरागम निवृत्त स जगाम धरणी मेरो समाजे त्रिदिवोक शामिल सैसेज दट देर इज द स्टोरी ऑफ कुकुदमी who is father of revati and he took his daughter revati to brahma loka must have some special power to reach there to ask him whom shall i marry my daughter instead of asking the daughter whom do you want to marry because daughter cannot make good decision right young people don't make good decision when it comes to marriage So father was concerned, and he thought best person to ask is Brahma, because sometimes they say that marriages are made in heaven. So he says, "Let's go to heaven then. It's the best place." So he went there, but Brahma was busy at that time. Some kirtan was going on, some bhajan party had come. So he has to wait. So then he asked him, and he said, "What you are saying now? It is the go fast. It is the twenty seventh, you know, Chaturyogi, Dwapar Yoga. Balram is there. You marry her to Balram." So he came running. So he says that in the meantime, there is no talk that Brahma had gone. to shir sagar because here it will be described that brahma goes to the milky ocean and with the earth so there they, it is not said that brahma went so therefore brahma probably has another form here so she went here only because it is this brahma who goes right not that one so he thinks that from that he concludes that he did not go or the earth did not go to satyaloka but went to sumeru and jagam dharni mero samaje tridivokshami ti parashrene kirtam and then there is a statement from vishnu purana That earth went to Meru. So Meru, Meru, Samaje, Tridivoksham, where there was an assembly of devas, the 
devas have assembled there so she went there so then he says gaur bhutva shru mukhi khinna kradanti karunam vibho उपस्थितांत के तस्मय विस्मम समवोचत सो अर्थ सी वॉज क्राइंग विद टीयर्स अश्रुमुखी एंड खिन्ना सी वॉज डिस्ट्रेस्ड क्रंदंती क्राइंग करुणम विभो सो पिटियसली सी वॉज क्राइंग एंड सी वेन टू ब्रह्मा उपस्थितांत के तस्मय वैष्णम समोच एंड देन रीचिंग ब्रह्म सी पुट हर प्रॉब्लम दैट आई एम वेरी मच इन ट्रबल दे इज नो वन टू टेक केयर ऑफ माई प्रॉब्लम प्लीज हेल्प दे इज सो मेनी असुराज असुरा लाइक किंग्स नाउ एंड दे आर burning me so this is what she spoke so you had some question i'm just a little bit puzzled about um, this other form of brahma is it like does he have some expansion or is it another personality who's also brahma who's taking care of the earth while there's a like shiva and sada shiva or no no these people can have many forms mm. it's not a problem this <laughs> like now he is going to tell the devas that he should go on earth and take birth right mm. so that does not mean that nobody is there in the devaloka they stay there they come here so yeah you can expand no problem that must be yogic power they have otherwise how to how to think now kokod means talking to him right so when kokod me went krishna had not taken birth here right and then he speaks with brahma he says go down quickly 27 or whatever he chaturyogis have passed now and balram is there so that means in the meantime earth went to brahma brahma went to shir sagar prayed so on one side he is there with kokodmi other side he is gone so there must be expansion otherwise how do you explain or two different people just two different but there is only one brahma <laughs> where are two brahmans they will have big problem with their two of them so no, there is only one so that means he is there talking to kokodmi and telling him to go down krishna and in the meantime earth has gone to brahma and brahma has prayed so it must be here so meru so therefore she went and uh, she complained or she expressed her suffering vesana means misery trouble to brahma so brahma when he heard he understood that this is a big problem and it is beyond his capacity to help so he took all the devas because he was already having a meeting with the devas right so all the devas were there because if brahma comes down then all the lower people have to accompany him it's like when brahma came to give boon to hiranyakashipu then all other devas also came flying with him right if if the prime minister of india has to come to vrindavan then the chief minister will also come and other authorities local authorities they will all come so therefore 
Brahma, he goes with all the devas because they were all there. It was already said in the previous verse number 17. So, Brahma tat updhariya tha sah devais taya sah jagama satra niyana stiram shira payo nidhe. So, Brahma, he heard the problems, the trouble of earth. And then along with devas, means Indra, Chandra, etc. And also Shiva was there, three nine, three eyed. So Shiva also accompanied, so they all went. So if one of, when you have to go and you have some problem, then at least in India, that's what they do, take many people. Right? And these days they have campaigning, so you sign, right? Through the internet they do it now. So that to get the support, we need 10,000 signatures. So it is also here like that. So not only Brahma, but everyone else, including Shiva. He said, Sivji, Ayya, Abhi, you also come. Let's all go. So they all went. <coughs> and where did they go? They go to the milky ocean, Shira Payo Nidhe. So because Shiro Dakshai Vishnu, he is taking rest there. So that is the best management that you have your people taking care of things and you can sleep. So he worked hard, now he is relaxing. So he has and he sleeps in a very solitary place where no one can come and disturb him. Right? No Dattyas can go there. Although in Harivans Puran there is description that Vishnu was sleeping and Dattya came and stole his helmet. Then when he woke up he said, where is my cap? So his cap was missing. He didn't see it anywhere. And then he chastised everybody. He says, Yo, when I'm sleeping, everybody sleeps. Right? So everybody was sleeping. Because when he's sleeping, what is the point in being awake? So everybody dozed off. So then Dattya came and he stole the helmet. And then he sent Garuda. He says, go find out. I cannot even go out now without my helmet. How will I go? So then Garuda came and he found the helmet, his crown, and then he went back. When he went back, then he was not there. Then Vishnu was not there. Why? Because now Krishna has appeared on earth. So he came and he mixed into Krishna. So then he came and he gave the helmet to Krishna here near Dwarka. This is a story in Harivans Purana. So therefore the meaning is that he sleeps in a very solitary place. I don't know how Dattya is there. Some special power. So they went. They are looking for him. They don't see him. So Brahma says, it is not possible, let's pray to him. So let's see the commentary. Tadubdhariyatha jagame iti athashabda adhikya didam labhyate. So Brahma tadubdhariya atha is saying that why the word atha is there. So Brahma tad updhariya jagama that after hearing he went went to the bank of the shore of the milky ocean. So what is the meaning of Atha here? So he says that the word Atha signifies this Vishwa Srishti Reva Mat Karma Palnam Tu Vishnu Reva Karma He thought that my function is to create 
and it is not my job to maintain. Right? So Krishna says, Swadharma Nidhanam Shreya Pardharmo Bhayavaha. Right? In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says that one should perform one's own duty and not perform another person's duty. <laughs> If you perform another person's duty, he says, this is bhayavaha. It brings fear, trouble. So he says, my job is to create. If I start maintaining, I'll be in trouble. Maintaining is Vishnu's job. So let me go and do, ask him, give him the application. That you are sleeping here, the problem is going up. So that's the meaning of Atha, that after hearing, then what did he do? So then he went there. Sacha Vishnu hu kshirabdhisthaiti tatraiva gatva. Which Vishnu is this? This Vishnu is not Garbhodakshai Vishnu or Karnodakshai Vishnu. This is Kshirodakshai Vishnu, one who is sleeping in the milky ocean. So he went there. Can you relate a question? Yes. Uh, the Vedas were also stolen. So were they stolen from Vishnu or from Brahmaji or Brahma, the Bra- deity who is No, that is, that is from Brahma. That is from Brahma. So, iti tatraiva gatva idam nivedaniyam iti paramarsha, paramamarsha. So, therefore, he thought that we should go and inform or request him. So, this is what he deliberated himself. Because when problem comes, then you have to first think how to solve it before you take some action. It's not that you immediately run. So you have to think, okay, what is to be done now? So he thought of the solution. He says, we have to go to Vishnu because only he can help. Tatra karya dvayam upasthitam. So there are two things to be done. One is prithvi palanam and daitya sangharanam. So first is to protect the earth. And second is killing of the Daityas. So he says, Tatra Prathmartham Devendram Vagyapet, Dutiartham Rudram Vaiti, Dev Sahityam, Trinan Sahityam Chakrat. So he says, there are two things to be done to maintain the earth and to kill the Daityas. So maybe he will order Indra for the first one and Shiva for the second one because Shiva's job is to destroy. So he says that's why he's taking both Indra and Shiva with him. So that he can give direct order. Brahma is only just person who is going to inform. Tatra gatva jagannatham devadevam vrsha kapim Purusham Purusha Shuktene Upatasthe Samahitaha. So after going there, then what did they do? They praised him with concentrated minds by singing Purusha Shukta. So the famous Purusha Shukta, Sahasa Sirsha Purusha, Shashraksha, Shashrapat. So this is the famous Purusha Shukta to please or to praise Purusha. So Purusha here means Vishnu. And he is also Jagannatham. He is the Lord of the universe, protector. Nathri means also Palani. And Deva Devam. He is the Deva of the Devas. And Vishakapin who gives his grace or fulfills the desire of people. So they approached him. So Jagannatham iti tatra gamane nyaya. So Jagannath is used here. So that is indicative that it is he only who should be approached. 
because if he is Jagannath and Nathri Yasne, Nathri Palne, Nath Dhatu, Nath Te, so to be prayed, to be begged, to so therefore he is the one who is the protector, so they go to him. And Deva Devam Iti Shvesam Vigyapne Chadhikara. So the word Deva Deva indicates that they have the right to approach him because they are the devas and he is the deva deva. So if he is their devas of the devas, then devas can go and approach him. So that, that is the significance of deva deva. And vrishakapi miti varshati kaman akampayati kleshan iti prayojanam. And why did they go there? Because he is vrishakapi. Vrishakapi is sometimes also used for Shiva. But here it is used for him. So it has two words, Vrisha and Akapi. So he is giving two meanings. Vrisha is Vrishu, Varshane, Dhatu or Sinchane, means to rain, to shower. So he rains desires, means fulfills desires or gives the objects of desires. And Akampayati, Kleshan, he throws away the suffering of people, therefore it's called Vrishakapi. So these three names he has given their significance. Because when these names are used, then they also have a significance why only specific name has been used here. So when they prayed, then what happened? That Vishnu did not appear there. Nobody saw him and nobody heard him except Brahma. So Brahma, he sat in Samadhi and then Vishnu spoke to him through the heart. Like Bhagavatam says, Tene Brahma Hrida Ya Adi so he spoke and gave the message in the heart of Brahma. So they had a dialogue through heart, heart to heart dialogue. When the Purushottava was recited, then Vishnu asked Brahma, yes, what do you want? So he said, earth is crying. So he said, so what do you want me to do? And actually he says, no, I already know. Because that's what he will say. <laughs> so no need to tell me. I already know it. And it has been taken care of. So giram samadho gagne samiritam nisam vedha stridashan vachaha gam porushim me shunutam rapunaha vidhi atamasu tathaiva machiram. So giram samadho gagne samiritam nishamya veda. So veda means Brahma. Brahma, he heard the voice of Vishnu in the samadhi state. And after hearing, then Vishnu stopped, he just gave him the message and then he left, or left means he stopped speaking. So then Brahma, he spoke to the devas, Tridashan Vajaha, and he spoke to them as follows. He says, Gam Parushim Me Shunta Amra Puna. He says, O Amaras, devas, Please hear from me the words of Purusha. Parushim Gam means the words of Purusha or Vishnu. And this is what he has said. So take note of it. And Vidhiyatam Asu Machiram. And just do what he has said without any delay. You should act on it. So samadhau tatrapi gavnes samiritam. So he heard it in samadhi. 
very nice. And Gagane Samiritam, and that also in the sky. Iti Chiroda Nathasya Pi Brahmana Pi Durlab Darsunatva Madhivyajya. So even Brahma was not able to see him. He could only hear his voice, like Narada has heard the voice when he was meditating as a child in his previous life, described in the sixth chapter, first canto. So he also heard like that, and he says that this is, this has an implied sense suggestive meaning says durlab darshanatvam abhivajya tadadi paramanshina sakshat purushottamasya krishnasya agre prapanchik loka matra drishyatve tadiya kripati shaiva hetu vyanjita so this shiro dakshai vishnu is an expansion of garbo dakshai vishnu who is an expansion of karno dakshai vishnu who is an expansion of sankarshan and then that Sankarshan is an expansion of Balram, and Balram is an expansion of Krishna. So Brahma was not able to see this Vishnu, and that Krishna, the Swam Bhagavan, is going to appear on earth. So this is a great thing. So that Krishna is going to appear, so that shows his supreme grace on earth, on human beings, that he himself is going to come. So, tadiya kripa atishayeva hetur vyanjita. Therefore, it is indicating that there is no other reason for him to appear, but except that he wanted to give his grace. Otherwise, there is no need for him to come. He can just send one avatar and he can do the job. Somebody like Parshuram can come. Right? Parshuram was killing all these kings when he was there. He can send him again. He said, okay, go again. You are already experienced in this work. Right? <laughs> you don't need a map. No Google map required. You already know where are these kingdoms. Just go and smash them. Could have done that. So he did not do that. But he comes. So therefore he says, Tadiya Kripati Shayev Hetur Vinjata. Paurushim Purushasya Shirodhanathasya Gam Vacham. So please hear the words of Purusha that Shirodakshai Vishnu. And this is what he said. So the next sloka is the word of statement of Shirodakshai Vishnu. Pureva uh, 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 This uh, sloka I am not able to understand the, the one word is saying Samadhi and then using Gagne, Samado Gagne. So, Generally, Samadhi, you explained that uh, the voice was heard in the heart and then Gagne is that the voice is heard in the sky. So, Where I'm is not... the heart? Where is the heart? It is inside the body, no? so uh... Everything is in Gagan only. Body is also in the sky. And inside the heart also there is Gagan. Right? Hirdyakash. Have you heard this word? Hirdyakash? Yes, yes. Some, yes, many times. Hmm? So, he, he is telling this Hirdyakash in the sky of the heart. Yes. There's, people think sky is only outside. Sky is also inside. So, some people fly in the sky inside. So this is the Gagana. So 
सुपुरव पुंसाव धृत धराज्वरो भवदिशयदूपजन्यता सयावदुर्व्यांभरमीश्वरेश्वर स्वकाल शक्तिया चपे चरेद भुवि सो इस इज पुरैव पुंसाव धृत धराज्वरो सो इस इज दैट द पुंस और द सुप्रीम पर्सन दैट इज रेफरिंग टू कृष्ण ही हैज ऑलरेडी understood the trouble of the earth and therefore he says bhavad bhi ransair yadushu upajanyata all of you you should take birth in the yadu dynasty by your ansha and how long you have to stay there say avad urvyam bharam ishwareshwara svakal shaktya kshapiyan charet bhumi as long as he will stay on earth that ishwara ishwara the ishwara of the ishwara so svakal shaktiya chapian charet bhuvi and he will move on earth removing the burden by the power of his kala shakti so you should stay as that long so that means at least 125 years you are booked so this shloka also uh, indicates that these avataras are not coming from vishnu i mean krishna is not an avatar of vishnu because it is he is saying that he is going to come the ishwara ishwara right so that means swam bhagwan is going to come sa ishwara ishwara yavad urya urvyam bharam kshapayan charet so that long you also stay on earth so twice the word has been used for earth urvyam and bhuvi so one is for the devas that you go and take birth on earth and how long you have to stay there as long as krishna stays on earth while removing the distress or burden so therefore it's an important word so it's indicates that one who is coming is swam bhagwan purushasya vacham eva anuvadati purayev iti chaturbhi so in the four shlokas he repeats what purusha here that shirodakshay vishnu told to brahma brahma is just repeating that as it is to them so vigyapnat purvam eva he says that he has already he already knows this problem of earth with, even before you came with your vigyapana with your application then he already knows that so who is this punsha krishna swam samabhavat parme pavanya सो इन ब्रह्म संहिता इट इज सेड कृष्ण स्वयं समभवत परम पुमान कृष्ण इज परम पुमान सो स्वयं भगवता श्री कृष्ण ने किया थे सो श्री कृष्ण हिमसेल्फ विल कम अवधृत मीन्स ज्ञात मीन्स ही नोज दिस अंशय तदंश भूत पार्षदैर उद्धव सात्यकदि भी सह मिलती भूय सो द वर्ड भवदिर अंशैर यदुषु उपजन्यता इट अपीयर्स लाइक दैट यू शुड गो ऑन अर्थ बाय योर अंश बट ही इज टेकिंग अनदर मीनिंग ऑफ दिस ही इज टेकिंग द मीनिंग ऑफ अंशई इन द सेंस ऑफ सहार्थ मीन्स अलॉन्ग विद that his anshas are going to be also on earth krishna's anshas like uddhava and satyaki and all this so you mil- you mix with them that is the meaning of anshe so sahar thetritya this tritya bhakti here is in the sense of saha and not the ansha of the devas सो पार्षदैर उद्धव सात्विक आदि भी सह मिलती भूय दैट हिज पार्षद आज हिज अटर्नल एसोसिएट्स दे आर गोइंग टू कम एंड बी ऑन अर्थ 
so you mix with them means you also get inside them so this is a great blessing for them so yadushu iti uplakshanam kurushu api so it is here said yadushu upajanyatam that take birth in yadus he says this is also lakshanik sense of kurus because in the karvas also we have like arjuna was indra's potency or son yudhishthira was dharmaraj bhima is vayu right there are all devas nakul sahadeva suni kumaras abhimanyu was moon chandra so they all not only in the yadavas but also among the koravas pandavas because if the dattyas are on the other side then devas have to be on this side so the devan side dattya and kara pandav side devas so therefore all these yadavas they are his associates but in them there are also devatas so the word anshayi applies in both ways and then next he says वसुदेव गृह साक्षा भगवान्षा पर जनिष्य तदप्रियाम संभव तो सुरस्त्रिय सो नाउ समथिंग मोर इंटरेस्टिंग हि सेज दैट साक्षा भगवान्षा पर वसुदेव गृह जनिष्य दैट साक्षा भगवान् मीन स्वयं भगवान् डायरेक्टली कृष्ण भगवान् Purusha Para, the Supreme Purusha, he will take birth in the house of Vasudev. So, not really house of Vasudev, but in the prison of Kamsa. <laughs> It was not Vasudev Griya. <laughs> but there is a statement in Sanskrit, it says that, Na Griham Griham Ityahu, Grihini griham iti uchyat. That house is not called house, it is the wife who is called house. So wherever is wife, that's where the house is. So although they were in prison, but Devaki is there and Devaki is wife, so Devaki is the house. So therefore Vasudev griha here means Devaki. That he will be born from Devaki. साक्षात भगवान पुरुषा पर जनिष्य थे एंड तत्प्रियार्थम संभव तो सुरस्त्रिय एंड फॉर हिज प्लेजर द वाइफ्स ऑफ द सुरज दे शुड ऑल्सो टेक बर्थ देयर सो दिस सुरस्त्रिय एज इट विल बी एक्सप्लेन्ड इन द commentary by Vishnath Chakrati Thakur and Jeeva Goswami also explains this in Krishna Sandarbha that the Surastriya are actually the wives of avatars like Vamanadev or other avatars their wives they will come because the Surastris cannot become wives of Krishna I mean these wives of the Devas so the sura here only refers to the various forms of vishnu because whenever krishna becomes a particular avatara then lakshmi also takes a corresponding form so they will also come so surastriya therefore it says surastriya tat priya ansha bhutaya Upendradi Manvantaravtara Striya. So he says that Surastriya here refers to the 
wives of Upendra, etc., who are Ansavatar of Krishna and their wives, because they are the eternal wives, so they will become also here as wives. Taeva tat priyanam sakhyartham kritchara tat bhajan prabhavasa. So they themselves will come and be friends or assistants of Rukmani, Satyabhama, who are eternal wives of Krishna. So they will become their associates or their servants. Prithak bhutas tat priya sakhyo bhavantu. They will become their priya sakhyo. Yadut uktam ujjwal nil manav. As it is said in ujjwal nil mani. Nitre priyanam anshastu yajata deva yonayaha. Ta anshinam eva asam priya sakhyo bhavan bhavi. So he says that the anshas of nitya priya, the eternal wives of Krishna, their anshas are born also wives of other avatars who are anshas of Krishna. It is they only who appeared as associates of his wives. Also some of them became gopis. So this is also it came there was a sloka which we read while reading the commentary on the 10th canto 29th chapter in one commentary Yuga Swami has quoted this sloka Gopyas tu Shrutiyo Geya Rishija Gopa Kannika Deva Kanyasya Rajendra Namunisha Kadachana There are three types of gopis there are rishis that rishichari or munichari gopis and then shruti chari the upanishads and devakanya so these devakanyas are these devakanya and na manushi kadachana they are not human beings so these are the three types which came because only they can have the possibility to associate with Krishna. And even they have to give up their body, some of them which we read in 29th chapter. Right? Jahur Gunmayam Deham. That they gave up their Gunmaya Deha. Prapta Sangata. So these are the ones. So we'll stop here. Is any question? Um, I couldn't, couldn't, I couldn't catch this meaning of the Sujan Nil Mani verse. Could you, I just couldn't follow as you were saying it. So, nitra priyana manshastu ya jata deva yonaya. So, Krishna has his nitya priya. And then their anshas, their parts, are the wives of his avatars. Because Krishna becomes, say, Vamanadev, then somebody, Rukmani Jamsa or Satyabhama Jamsa, will be wife of Vamanadev. So they are the one who said they are the Surastri because Vamandev is also Sura. He is also counted because he is son of Kashyapa, he is brother of Indra Upendra. So that's what he said. So he is saying that these, the eternal wives, that they appear as the wives of his avatars. Hmm. No, no. Uh, expansions of them. Just as Krishna expands into avatara, his wives also expand correspondingly. Okay. And then those expansions are... What is he saying about them? They will take avatar on earth when Krishna is coming. And they will become assistants to their nitya wives. Like Rukmanis will come. So Vamandev's wife will also come 
and be in Dwarka as maybe one of the wives of Krishna or assistants of Rukmani. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. That's what Surastriya refers to in this verse. This is what Vishnath is explaining. Uh-huh. And that's Yuga Swami also says this. And of course Rukhva Swami says in the Jal Nilman. Question Babaji. Is the Upendra, just like Narasimha Bhagwan, when he came, he killed Hiran action and went back. So after taking three steps, everything from Bali Maharaj, did he not go back? He just stayed here? Is, it, is there any... Well, he's supposed to be guarding the gate of Bali and Sutaloka. Hmm. And that's what is described because he said, I will, I'll be with you. So from whichever gate Bali comes out, Vamandev is standing there. That's why who went there to fight with the Bali, I think. Was it Banasur or Ravan, one of them, then Vamandev kicked him. I don't remember, but one of them went. So obviously it cannot be Banasar because Banasar is grandson, right? Or son. Must be Ravan or somebody. Anything else? Yes. I just, uh, I just wanted to say that it makes so much more sense, this explanation, than what, what I previously always heard that the wives of the demigods appeared because that never that, that obviously the, the how can the wife of the of the demigods they yeah, they cannot take this position? It's not possible. Yes. So so this is. That's why it is explained like yeah, that. Yeah, that's that's really makes sense. Yes. Uh, Babaji, I had one more question, that uh, in the earlier uh, uh, times, so whenever there was any natural disaster or any problem of that sort, uh, people used to go to the king and uh, put the blame on the, in some way put the blame on the king that you are not following your things properly. Mm. So now when we have these some natural disasters or this corona-like things or whatever, in the something sprung up by nature, and we uh, we give an explanation that it is the collective karma of the people that they are suffering. Hmm. So why this shift? Why is the shift? Because people themselves are not following. If you go and complain to the king that you are not following your duty, then at least you should be following. Otherwise, what right you have to go and complain? <laughs> Many yourself are not following. So people themselves are not following, that's why collective karma. All you are all contributing to it. Just shortly also regarding the wives, so they become assistants or friends of the Angshinis, of their respective sources of expansions and also of the gopis and raj yeah of the nityas and the gopis yeah okay so they are both accompanying accompanying krishna or krishna's wife in dwaraka etc but also in braja okay. just like a um, about the Samadhi of um, Brahma, that he sat in meditation and then uh, he could not see uh, Vishnu, but he could uh, hear him. So then, um, just out of, it's like, um, because 
said that when the transmission between hub and heart will be sensitive to heart, right? Mm. So then um, there are different levels of uh, intensity of meditation that we can have the full darshan by seeing and hearing and yeah. Uh, yeah, you can also see in Samadhi, or you can hear. That's not up to him. It's up to Vishnu. And if your job can be done just by hearing, why give darshan? Right? <laughs> if your job can be done by a WhatsApp message, why go there <laughs> personally? <laughs> right? Yeah, because it was about solving the problem. Mm. Uh, Lakshmi was not able to, to participate in Krishna's pastimes, even though she did austerities and she really wanted to, she was not qualified because she... No, no, she, not in Braj. In Braj, yeah. But then those wives of the Angshas, who are, who are expansions of Lakshmi, who are in one sense less than even Lakshmi, they are able to go to Raj. Well, that and you can say that these sages are even much less than that. It's not question of less or more, it's question of your attitude. Uh, yeah. So they perform tapasya, even these have performed austerities to be in Braj. Yeah. Yeah. That's why they came. Even though, so, it, so as expansions, they are in one sense non-different from Lakshmi, but then they are also different because they have different alumans. Yes. Okay.